Welcome to the City Logistic Game and I thank you for your participation. The game is about goods transportation in a city. The city consists of houses and people. The city has shops that sell product to people living in the city. The shops replenish their goods by ordering goods from shipper. The shipper owns trucks which are used to deliver goods to the shops. There are four shippers and they are located in the periphery of the city. Each shop has only one shipper but each shipper delivers goods to multiple shops. There are 50 shops, 4 shippers and 10,000 people live in the city. Following assumptions are made for this game. First, for each shop, 1 meter square of space can accommodate 50 units. This implies that maximum capacity of any shop is equal to the area of the shop in meter square multiplied by 50. Thus, for example, a shop with 100 meter square area can occupy maximum of 5000 units. Second, the maximum truck capacity is 1000 units. That implies that a truck can carry maximum of 1000 units at a time. Third, the total demand that is total units consumed by the entire city is 100,000 units per month. People buy goods from shops. The probability that people will buy goods from some shop is based on mainly two criteria. People give highest importance to the price. That means Given everything same between two shops, the shop that charges less profit has more probability to be chosen by people. People like to visit the shop with full shelves of goods compared to the shop with empty shelves. We define percentage stock level as how full the shop is. Thus, if the shop capacity is 5000 units and if it has stock of 4000 units, then the stock level of that shop is 80%. So the second criterion is percentage stock level. Therefore, given everything same between two shops, the shop with higher percentage stock level is more likely to be chosen as a shopping destination by people. Between these two criterions, profit carries more weight compared to the stock level. Finally, in this game, each shop has same area that is 100 meter square. Also, since the city is small, people do not consider distance as an evaluating criterion. Thus, the shop size and distance to the shop do not impact the probability of shop selection. There are different kinds of costs associated with the shop. First is the ordering cost. The ordering cost is the cost associated with placing an order for goods. This also includes transportation cost. Second cost is purchase cost. That is cost of purchasing goods from shipper. Since the purchase cost of a single unit is 50 euro, the total purchase cost will be number of unit purchased multiplied by 50. The third cost is inventory cost. On an average, some amount of goods is always present in the shop. The cost associated with holding such goods is inventory cost. For this game, inventory cost is assumed as 30% of its unit cost for the period of a year. This implies that if your shop has an average stock of 4000 units during a period of a month, then your shop incurs 5000 euro worth of inventory cost. 
after costs the next question is how a shopkeeper pays for all the costs yes simply from profit made by selling goods in this game selling price per unit is equal to purchase price multiplied by 1 plus profit margin thus for example for the purchase price of 50 euro per unit the profit margin charge is 25 percent then the selling price per unit will be 62.5 euro thus for every unit sold the shopkeeper will make the profit of 12.5 euro in order to run the shop successfully and make net positive profit the shopkeeper in this case you as a shop player has to take some decisions here the goal is to attract as many customer as possible while keeping the costs as low as possible in this game the shopkeeper player needs to take some decision before the game starts which cannot be changed during the course of game before the game starts the player need to select one shipper from four available shippers based on the information provided the information will be provided once you are ready to play the game furthermore the player need to decide profit margin that is how much profit you want to charge per unit sold once the game starts the player need to take mainly two decisions first is when to order since people will buy goods the stock of the goods will decrease in the shop also as mentioned previously customers prefer a shop with full selves thus the player need to decide at what stock level the goods should be ordered as soon as the player decides to place order the second decision to make is how much to order that is how many units should be ordered from shipper while placing an order the player should note that the total stock that is submission of quantity ordered and current stock should not exceed the total capacity of shop while making these decisions the player should try to optimize their decisions for example ordering too frequently and small number of units will reduce inventory cost but increase ordering cost on the other hand ordering less frequently but large number of units will reduce ordering cost but increase inventory cost So the decisions you take will decide if you are the winner in the game. The winner of the game will be the player with highest total profit. The highest total profit is defined as total revenue minus total cost. Here total cost is the summation of total purchase cost, total ordering cost and total inventory cost. Whereas total revenue is calculated as total number of units sold multiply by selling price per unit here note that the selling price of the unit will be decided by you when you select the profit margin thus the selling price is purchase price multiply by 1 plus profit margin as mentioned in previous slide furthermore the purchase price is fixed at 50 euro per unit I thank you again for your participation in City Logistic game. If you have any further question about the game, please contact the game moderator. Thank you very much.